Hey everyone, it's Laura. I just have two things. I think this will go kind of fast. I was going to um, give you an update on my hair color that I just did today. And then I got a small order from um, just a little small business that I found on TikTok. So let's talk about the hair color first. This is that kit that I got from Influencer. This Zotos Age Beautiful. It's supposed to be like for old people's hair. <laughs> Age defying hair color. Um, so I did it today and the shade that they gave me was 9G Light Golden Blonde. I like it. Do I love it? No. But I never love box color. Like I love my hair color when I get it done at the salon. That's when it looks the best. But, you know, this was free and I imagine buying this is probably $10, $12. I don't even know. I'd have to look on Sally's website um, versus, you know, hundreds of dollars at the salon. Uh, the color looks pretty good. Um, so I have old highlights that start probably right about here. You can kind of see they're trying to break through. So it's hard to um, color over them. Um, but I can't go lighter without bleach and I will not bleach my own hair like that scares crap out of me. The roots look pretty good. Um, you can see though it didn't 100% cover my silver. <laughs> you can kind of see it breaking through and especially here. Nothing ever covers this though. Even salon hair color doesn't cover the silver at my temples. A little bit, but like if I were to wear my hair up in a ponytail, I think it's like super noticeable. Um, but it feels pretty good. Um, Ricky's comment was it stinks. <laughs> I said, oh, I colored my hair because I did it when he was sleeping. He goes, yeah, I know it stinks. I'm like, thanks, honey. <laughs> he just meant like, you know, the chemical smell. Um, it feels pretty soft. It came with a shampoo and conditioner packet, um, which the shampoo or the conditioner, most hair colors don't come with shampoo, but the conditioners that come with hair color is always amazing. Like it makes your hair like super soft and silky. So that's why I wore it straight because, well, plus I wanted to blow dry it to see what the color would look like. Um, but it was so smooth that it was like easy to blow dry it. So do I love it? No, but, um, is it just as good as like the last time I colored my hair with color from Walmart or whatever? Yes. The stuff I used last time was um, Schwarzkopf brand. So depending on how much this costs, I might, I might do it again. Um, once this starts to grow out. So yeah, I like it. Um, I wish my hair was lighter, but like I said, I'm not going to bleach my own hair. <laughs> um, if we moved to Florida, I wouldn't have to <laughs> or Arizona. The sun would bleach it. This is my lippy of the day. It's this House Labs and the color is Attitude. It's just a lip gloss. Ooh, gooey. But I love the color. So that's my lippy of the day. Now on to this order. So I was scrolling through TikTok as I've been known to do. And then like an hour passes by like that. Um, and I came across this video of this woman that has a small business that um was sharing a story she does like um screen printing like t-shirts but she also does like mugs and things like that and someone contacted her she has um some pictures of designs that are already made that you can order and then she does custom prints too and someone messaged her and said you know i would like to you know know how much you would charge for a custom print and i guess she gave her a a, a price and the woman said this is what I want the shirt to say and it had a um, racist term on it and the owner of this company told her no she said I'm sorry I I will not do that for you and the woman that requested it called her a Karen and um, proceeded to blast her all over social media saying you know how dare this woman judge me it, this was a apparently the lady that wanted this whatever phrase said it was just a joke how dare she refuse my service or something and so this woman you know the the owner of this business was on tiktok saying you know if you could help out my business because the lady was leaving bad reviews on her i think she has her own website and maybe an etsy shop too i'm not sure but people were like spamming her she had hundreds of bad reviews in one day all because of this woman that she refused service to. So I placed an order from her because I'm like, that's the kind of business I want to support is one that stands up against racism, not just says, I don't see color, like actually goes out and 
does something about it and like speaks up. You know what I mean? So I was like, heck yeah, that's that's my kind of person. So the name of the small business is Twitties, T-W-I-D-D-Y apostrophe S. And then she even has it on her tape, which is super cute. And then uh, there's a sticker on here. I crossed off my address. It says, hey, postal worker, thank you for your hard work. You are an integral part of my small business and I appreciate you. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? So, and then there's a, another part to the story that I will show you my own personal experience with this company. I'll show you once I show you what I got. Um, but she, the lady was super duper sweet. So I'm assuming this is just a packing slip. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I ordered a mug and I ordered a sweatshirt. So I will show you the sweatshirt first. Oh, there's, there's a freebie floating around in there. What is this? Oh, a little tiny lip balm. Oh my God, is that adorable. Look how little that is. It says green apple lip balm. And then it's got her logo on it, Twitties. Again, I'm not like affiliated with her. I literally saw this story on TikTok and I said, I'm ordering something from her because she did the right thing. And that, that kind of bad reviews like that can kill a small business really, really quickly. And it's sad. So anyway. So I saw this shirt and I had to have it. It's a sweatshirt, a hoodie, and it says anxiety state. <laughs> it just made me laugh because, you know, it looks like, you know, like Penn State or University of Wisconsin, you know, like a regular, you know, like college sweatshirt, but it says anxiety state instead. It even has like a crest on it. I just thought that was super funny and... I am often anxious, but yeah, it's just a hoodie, long sleeve. It came in different colors. I ordered black and full disclosure, it took weeks from when I ordered it till I got it. I want to say I ordered this in mid to late January, but again, she's a small business and she posted, oh, January 8th. So early January. That's how long it took me to get it. Um, I'm filming this on February, it's today, the 11th, so it took a long time. Um, she did ship it over a week ago, though, so it took forever to get here. Um, but she screen prints them all herself, and she was bombarded with orders after this TikTok went viral. So good for her. I was I was more than happy to wait. Um, and, yeah, I like supporting businesses like that. Okay, so then this, <laughs> this mug is where my story about this company comes in. It's a good story. It's a happy story. Let me just open it first. And it's very well bubble wrapped, so I'm assuming it's all in one piece. And it is. <laughs> Stay golden. And it was super bubble wrapped, and she had, you know, paper inside. So the story behind the mug. This was, I think, $16. So not, not cheap. Um, but again, it was for a good in my mind. I think the sweatshirt was around 35 or 40, which that's about right for a, a screen printed hoodie. Um, so I bought this on January 8th. So if you know my love of Miss Betty, she passed away on the 31st. So I mean, it was not long after that. And I saw the story on TikTok. I went and was going to buy that sweatshirt. And then I saw this mug. So I put it in my cart, purchased it, whatever. Um, two or three days later, I get a message from the owner of Twitties. She said, um, I meant to take this off of my site. She said she used to have t-shirts and sweatshirts with golden girls on it. She took everything down after Betty White passed away because she didn't want anyone to think she was profiting off of her death. She forgot that this mug was still on there. And so she said, I still want you to have it, but I want you to know that I'm donating the price that you paid for it or half of it, 50% of the proceeds towards an animal shelter in Betty's name, which I was like, oh my God, that's the sweetest thing. And sure enough, in the email, she had a screenshot that showed that she donated to some humane society um, where this lady is based out of, which I can't remember. Um, oh, in Georgia. So that's where she donated to. So ladies on the up and up, but, um, and she could have just refunded me and said, you know, I'm not going to do this, but because she said it was her fault that it was still on the website, she wanted me to still have it, but 
she didn't want to profit off of Betty's death, which I thought was so sweet. And then I told her that I was also donating um, to a shelter in honor of Betty. Um, I did that on her birthday. So anyway, that's what I want to show you. Um, talk about my hair and then talk about my order from this company. I'm really happy with this bung. It's so cute. And this is something I would have bought before Betty White passed away. You guys have seen my Golden Girls haul. And I told her that. I said, I have a lot of Golden Girls stuff. I didn't go out and buy a ton of stuff after Betty died. I've had stuff. I've been a fan for years. So I'm happy to have it. So anyway, just want to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.